What is up everybody? Welcome your faces back to the Satoshi Club where in today's video we're going to talk about Ethereum, its scalability issues and what is there to help it out or Polygon slash Matic. Now technicals will be discussed at the end of the video for those of you that stay until the end and want to know the current situation in the market. But you know for the start we have to talk about the problems that Ethereum currently is having. So 30 transactions per second is not a large number of transactions. So Ethereum actually has huge scalability issues and you're going to see thousands of different projects on the internet trying to fix Ethereum scalability or providing solutions that are there to, you know, help all of these Ethereum based projects become better and better and more scalable so that more people can use it at the same time. Now, Ethereum did have this merge recently that, you know, you may have heard about and the merge actually didn't really solve any problems when it comes to this it only laid a foundation that they're able to use to solve all of these problems in the future but not yet right so what did the merge actually do well it merged ethereum's validator chain and uh, this original chain that was being used that was proof of work with their beacon chain which was proof of stake to put ethereum entirely on a proof of stake uh, based protocol, which means that energy consumption was reduced by 99.95%. So what does this mean for transactions? Well, not that much. I think they're, uh, you know, one transaction per uh, second quicker right now. And, uh, you know, the timing of the transaction is not even quicker at all. So they didn't really solve any problems. But the fact that Ethereum is on proof of stake right now means that they do have potential to fix it in the future. Until that happens, you know, we're going to have projects such as Polygon or Matic on the market to help us scale Ethereum based solutions. Now, before I do get into Polygon, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the content and check out Satoshi Club if you want to be updated with all the latest crypto news on the market. Now, Polygon says that they're bringing the world to Ethereum. So Ethereum apparently doesn't really have anything interesting about it. And Polygon is right there to make your life interesting if you want to build or, you know, check out projects that are built primarily on Ethereum, but, you know, on Polygon instead. So how does this work? Well, Polygon is a decentralized Ethereum scaling platform. So what they do is they scale Ethereum based applications by putting them on the Polygon blockchain making them faster and making them more efficient. So this enables all developers to build scalable and user-friendly dApps with low transaction fees without ever sacrificing on security, which is, you know, one of the benefits of Ethereum itself and the blockchain itself, which is, you know, security, immutability, nothing can be changed on the blockchain, yada, yada. So a few things that have been launched on Polygon before is, for example, Instagram NFTs, right? So if you check out uh, these digital collectibles, it's basically a post on Instagram that can be marked as a digital collectible. Now, I haven't seen these recently, so I don't know what is going on with them at this moment, but this was in May of 2022. So, you know, it's possible that in the next few months or the next year or so, once the new bull run starts happening, we're gonna see more and more NFTs on Instagram, Twitter, and all of these other social media platforms out there. So that's pretty cool. And next up we have Adidas and, uh, you know, this Prada, uh, you know, collaboration announcing a first of its kind open metaverse and user generated NFT project, which is also, guess what, built on Polygon. So why is everyone building on Polygon? And, you know, also you have this uh, payout system uh, when it comes to crypto that was also built on Polygon uh, when it comes to Stripe. So Stripe is one of the global payment systems that's trying to work in over 70 countries and provide local currency payments exchanging from one to another similar to PayPal, and they actually are doing it with crypto right now, thanks to Polygon. So Polygon is everywhere. Um, as you can see, $140 million of average daily gas is saved because people are using Polygon rather than Ethereum. And I don't know if you've tried this yourself, but if you send a transaction to someone in, with Ethereum, it's gonna take like 20 minutes for it to actually arrive. But if you send it with Polygon, it's gonna be a lot faster and a lot more people can transact at the same time. So. It is, uh, you know, primarily built for developers, the whole network itself, so that they can develop faster and more efficient mechanisms to use poly uh, Ethereum as it was based, but make it faster and more scalable. That's the whole point of Polygon. And why is this a project that you should know about? Well, first of all, if you're somebody who wants to build or who knows somebody who wants to build, they probably already know about Polygon and it's already in their, uh, you know, idea field. So that's probably not what I'm interested in right now. But 
Polygon as a network and Polygon as a potential investment towards the future could not be a bad thing at all. Now, I'm not a financial advisor and you should never take advice from anyone on the internet, but when you see that something is fulfilling a need on the market, right, scaling over 19,000 decentralized apps with Polygon, well, you gotta see that they are fulfilling this need for faster transactions on the Ethereum blockchain, seeing as Ethereum is the largest chain in the world, used by the largest amount of people, and pretty much everyone builds on Polygon, but it's not scalable and it's not fast and it's very inefficient. Wow, now it uses less energy. Big, big whoop, right? Nobody cares because it's still slow and inefficient. So Polygon is there to help out Ethereum and they have a lot of different scaling solutions, which personally, I don't really get into too much because I'm not really a uh, tech guy, so to say. So you can read up about all of this other stuff, the Polygon proof of stake, uh, Ethereum EVM compatible sidechain. You have the ZK EVM uh, roll up, which is also some uh, crypto terminology, blockchain terminology, you know, if you want me to discuss this in a future video, I will take the time, I'll learn it, and then I'll present it to you in 10 minutes. So if you want to know that, well, comment down below. But we have Avail, Polygon Edge, Polygon Nightfall. Basically, everything right here is a different way of scaling Ethereum-based apps uh, based on different users and different builders' needs. So making Ethereum accessible for all is what Polygon does making every single app built on Polygon compatible with Ethereum, completely scalable, completely secure, and providing a nice developer experience for developers out there. So, so there's uh, this goal of going carbon negative in 2022 and climate positive beyond that. Hashtag Polygon goes green. You can uh, you know tweet it on Twitter or whatever, but uh, the whole point is it's very nice to see that they are looking forward and in a sustainable way as well. So until, here's my point, until Ethereum comes out with a faster and more scalable solution on their own chain using this, uh, you know, less energy proof of stake and all of this stuff. Once they figure out how to actually become more efficient, then Polygon is going to fall in use cases, right? But until then, and this could be years from now, Polygon has a pretty nice, uh, you know, path that could lead towards more upside. So. I did some analysis. You can see a few different confluences that are pointing towards more upside on the daily time frame. We can see that the 50 period moving average acted as a resistance. And basically, uh, it's it's a zone that the price keeps bouncing off of, you know, in the past. And right now we can see that we are sitting right on top of the 50 SMA. And I believe that if price could break from this level right here and form a small retracement into this moving average, right, which would continue like this, we do have potential to move towards more upside or you know somewhere roughly in the 1.5 dollar level as it is a psychologically significant zone since it is a round number and it's easier for people to set orders right there so i think that's it for today's video polygon pretty cool the ticker is matic if you want to check it out on trading view if you enjoyed it smash the like subscribe to the channel comment down below with your favorite thoughts and i will see you all in the next video